Welcome to this video guide from All Print Supplies on how to apply bespoke designed pre-pasted wallpaper TSWS 9 PP. Tools for the job include a work table, wallpaper scraper, clean sharp knife, large wallpaper tray or a clean paint roller and bucket, clean water or for an optional belt and braces approach use a weak adhesive paste also known as size, a clean sponge, a clean cloth, sandpaper, white matte emulsion paint is optional and PVA is also optional. Stage one of this three stage process is preparation. Clear the area of unnecessary obstacles and wherever possible remove radiators and wall fixtures for easier application and a better overall finish to your graphics. Protect any areas which can't be removed from your work area such as carpets and large heavy furniture with covers and dust sheets. Using a clean wallpaper scraper, carefully peel away the old wallpaper, taking care not to damage the wall surface beneath. For harder to remove wallpapers, you may find it easier to lightly soak the wallpaper with a sponge and clean water first, just to loosen the wallpaper adhesive. Alternatively, use a wallpaper steamer as directed by the steamer's user instructions. Once all the old wallpaper and liner has been completely removed, level out any uneven areas ready for application of the new wallpaper. Fill holes, scrapes and imperfections with a suitable filler and remember to build suitable drying time into the time allocated to the job. Once dry, sand the affected areas down to a smooth even finish, both on the wall and to any damaged surrounds such as skirtings or sockets which may also need some fresh paint when finishing off. Ensure the entire wall surface is sound and straight and wipe with a clean moist cloth to remove remaining loose dust and particles from the surface. We recommend painting the entire wall area with a matte emulsion paint to even out any colour tonal differences on the wall which may show through the wallpaper and then applying a coat of PVA to seal the surface. This will provide a better surface for the repositioning and lining up of the wallpaper design during wet application. An additional tip to help adhesion is to apply a thin coat of weak adhesive paste to the wall surface and allow it to dry on the wall before applying your wetted wallpaper. The wall surface is now ready to receive the wallpaper. After printing the wallpaper, always ensure all your trimming is done extremely accurately, i.e. perfectly straight cuts for the left and right paper edge joins. Accuracy is crucial when symmetrical or repeating patterns are used. Inaccurate trimming will result in mismatched patterns and unsightly gaps or overlaps in your paper edge joins. It's advisable to cut your wallpaper graphics exactly to size and butt the trimmed edges together on the wall. Alternatively, allow extra artwork bleed between strips, then overlap the wallpaper edges and splice them on the wall. Splicing on the wall probably offers tightest fitting joints, but for inexperienced installers, poor splicing on the wall will result in damaging the wall surface and the plaster, and may damage the joined edges of your design, resulting in hacked looking joins and subsequent paper lifting. Draw faint plumb line guides across the wall to the size of the strips to ensure your application will fit and be vertically straight across the entire wall. Cut the wallpaper strips accurately. Left and right edges need to be trimmed perfectly straight so that the edges butt perfectly against each other when on the wall. Stage two of this three stage process is the application. Prior to applying the wetted wallpaper, work from left to right offering up each wallpaper strip without wetting the paste side. Start at the ceiling and align with the vertical plumb line you drew earlier. Figure out all height and width variations across the entire wall surface in all directions in the design stage and prior to actual application. You must make sure and double check the extra artwork you allow at the top and the bottom of your design will actually align on the wall and will cover the entire wall area without leaving gaps top or bottom left or right of the wall edges. Once you are happy your wall design can be positioned and aligned across the entire wall, fill a bucket halfway full with water, then spread the wallpaper out design side down, paste side up, on the work table. Generously apply clean water, or optionally use a weak adhesive paste, also known as size, over the entire pre-pasted side using a paint roller, leaving no dry areas. With the wetted wallpaper laid out on the work table, gently bend a section of the paper back and attach it to the middle, then back again, this time with the other end of the strip, again, so that the entire piece of paper is folded accordion style without any creases and only lightly held to one another. 
Dampen your sponge with clean water and pull back one section of the wallpaper strip, placing it at the top of the wall, leaving enough of the extra design as judged necessary from earlier at the top. Press the first strip of wallpaper onto the wall. Use the sponge to press and stroke the paper into the wall working from the top to the bottom, making sure you remove all of the air bubbles and don't introduce any creases, cracks or tears into the wallpaper as you go. Pull back the next section from the folds. Press it down with the sponge and again smooth the paper as you did before. Continue on with the rest of the wallpaper strip in the same fashion. With the wallpaper strip in place on the wall, take a sharp knife and a hard straight edge and neatly trim the excess paper off the top and the bottom edges of the strip. Trim around sockets, switches and other fixings by carefully trimming out the required shapes, leaving enough extra paper to tuck neatly behind the fixings. Wait for the strip to dry and then reattach fixings firmly back onto the wall. Take your next strip of wallpaper and repeat these steps, making sure you accurately align the patterns so that it looks continuous to the eye from a short distance. Continue in this manner until the walls are completely covered. The final stage in this three stage process is making good. Finishing off the job is important as it leaves your customer with the right impression and shows your work at its very best. So ensure all wallpaper edges and trims around sockets etc are stuck firmly and finished neatly. Clean off surrounding areas and touch up skirting boards with fresh paint for a great finish to your work. For more detailed information on essential preparation and application tips for TSWS 9 PP pre-pasted wallpaper for bespoke designs, visit our website and download the free PDF companion guide to this video from allprint.co.uk. If you have any questions, please contact our sales offices on the details shown on screen now.